Welcome to episode four of The Magic Hour. Today's episode is about following your passion and discovering your why. It's what Jonathan Johnson is doing each day in creating Rooted School, a new charter school opening this fall serving the youth of New Orleans and beyond. Rooted School aims to prepare students to compete for the most in-demand and high-paying local industries. I hope this story inspires you as much as it has inspired me. I'm originally from Southern California. I was born into a working class family that lived paycheck to paycheck and managed to climb my way in through broken public schools my entire life to get accepted to a small private university in Orange, California called Chapman University. While there, I worked 30 hours a week to pay the bills and pay my way to becoming the first in my family to graduate college. Beautiful. Uh, along the way, served in a lot of leadership capacities. The one that made the most significant impact on my life was serving as student body president and being the first African American student body president of the school's history. I think it's important to start with my relationship with Ricky. Because it is without that relationship, none of this would be here. We wouldn't be having right. drinks right now. Um, Ricky was a 16-year-old in the eighth grade when I met him, and uh, was a neighborhood boy, neighbor kid. And was this your first year? In my New first Lake? year. So you yeah. met Rick, Ricky. Was one of your first? Well, so Ricky. Sorry, this was yeah. my second year second, in, okay. in the city. So uh, I had gone through the the hell that is your typical first year teaching. Correct. And then I was in my second year. Okay. With the uh, which was with which with who was reputed to be a very difficult group of kids, class of kids, and Ricky was among this class. Just a lot of kids who were like more overage, more uh, behind on grade level. Um, just dealing with more of those vicissitudes of that neighborhood than, than any other class of kids I've ever worked with. Mm -hmm. And so among them is Ricky. And Ricky is from the neighborhood, lives with his grandmother, and by the time he gets to me, has closed a four-year achievement gap in reading and math. Mm -hmm. And which is, which is astounding uh, by all measures, given where he comes from. And one of the reasons why he is working so hard is because he wants to be the first in his family to make it to and through college. Because when you come from families like Ricky's and mine, college is seen as the ticket out to financial freedom. That's how you, that's how you make it happen. Uh, the legal way. And so in the spring of his eighth grade year, we learned that Ricky is, has been selling drugs to support his family, that he has been selling drugs for quite a while to, to help make ends meet. And it's two months before he's promoted to the ninth grade that we learned he's murdered during one of these drug deals by a fellow classmate. And, and Ricky's problem, as I saw it, was for him it was a rational choice to do work in the illegal economy how might I broaden the choices for him to do work in the, le in the legal economy? And then this leads to Rudy. And so summer of, uh, spring and summer of 14 is when I am workshopping this half-baked idea that is Rooted School, which is a school that gets kids career training skills, but then also hard and soft skills mm -hmm. needed to be successful to make it to and through college, but also in, in, in the world of work if they choose to go that route. Yep. And doing so by solving community problems. That was the mishmash, the gumbo, more or less, mm -hmm. that, that I was trying to, to make. And in my prototyping, in my research, in my R&D phase, which is the latter half of 2014, we get to this more refined problem and this more refined solution that is rooted school today, which is a high school that opens this August that has the mission of providing students personal pathways to financial freedom. To help in yeah. a positive way. Yeah, the, 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 the key is what you said, it's, like it's about alignment and staying, uh, so at Rooted, one of our values, organized values, is, um, the, the one word version is community, but we define that as never forget where you come from. 
and that's not just I, you know, me not forgetting that I'm from Southern California. It's, right. it's a little bit bigger than that. It's before this moment, there have been a lot of other micro moments that have led to this. Right. There is there is a broader community of people who have helped make my story possible. Right. And when I'm up against a wall, right. when I am up against a very like, I must remember sort of resourcefulness. I must remember that there's a broader community that can help me get past yes. this, right? And so, for me, it's about tapping into the value of community and remaining aligned to our roots, Rema yes. remaining aligned to why we did this, yes. I rem remaining aligned to the the, the theory of change yes. or, or, or what we want to be true in the world that is not currently a reality. Yes. And that is, it's a constant, it will be a constant struggle, especially if we are successful in our early stages, we'll be, we'll be pulled in a lot of directions, um, both for good and for bad. And so that's something I've got to train myself, but then also the team that is around me right. um, to consciously be questioning and, and be aware of and push each other. If you were to go back tomorrow and be in front of the Chapman Tour Guide group, yeah. what advice would Jonathan Johnson give to them on how to make a meaningful connection with these families? Like, what would you, yes. what would you inspire them with to, to make a connection? So there is a story, there's a storytelling framework that says story of me, story of us, and story of now. And that to me is the formula for a meaningful Marvesque uh, tour. The story of me is lead with your story. Like, why are you there? You have hundreds, maybe thousands, of schools you could be, you could have gone to across the world. Yet you are here at this moment, this time. Why? That story needs to be what you lead with. It needs to be tight. It needs to be concise. Something that people latch onto but can resonate with. Can resonate with because it's real. It's, it's, it's literally why. So what, I, what I talked about from the beginning of our conversation could very well work itself into something I open up and just tell me, hey, I'm, I'm from 30 minutes away. Family live paycheck to paycheck. Uh, like, pe like people connect to them. Yes. Not fountains and statues and buildings. They connect to stories.